Hi gang, this is Mike G from Mr GTV and MrMikeGarner.com having just come back from meeting the son of a best mate of mine who passed regressively last year. I went to see Bruce Jackson, son of Ed Jackson, who was my karate instructor back in the day. And we did karate in the late 70s, early 80s. I got my black belt with him. Then I went on to create my own system and my own organization. But Ed Jackson was pinnacle in starting me on that journey. And I knew his son because we trained together. So to meet him today was an absolute honor, pleasure, and long overdue. Who from your past, let me ask you, is important to you? And are you still in touch? Are you still in contact with your old school friends? Your old university, college, apprenticeship day friends? Have you still got friends that you've had with you on your journey? Or are there iconic people, important people, influential people in your life story that you feel that you should chase up, catch up with, update your stories with? To me, these people are part of your soul group, part of your earth family. We are brought together, having contracted before we came to this planet, before we incarnated into these bodies, to support each other physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. So, who has supported you physically through your physical experience on this life journey? who supported you mentally and emotionally, who's been a good role model, who's been your best teachers, and who's been your spiritual gurus and gurus. These people need to be honored, respected, and remembered and revered, and possibly some of them are still alive. Do you feel that you owe them a debt? Do you think that it would be good nice to meet up with them and thank them say how much they've influenced you positively and how the seeds that they planted in you have grown and you've blossomed into who you are I think it would be really kind and let me ask you also who have you influenced who have you supported physically mentally emotionally spiritually wouldn't you just love to know how well they're doing and where they are because of the power and influence that you've had in their life. I think these things are massively important and quite often overlooked. Connect with your past. Connect with your past loved ones, not necessarily passed over, but you can do with that. Connect with influential people, role models in your life who have steered you in certain directions, guided you, maybe protected you, maybe said don't do this and you have took their advice and that's gone really well. Maybe they've told you to do something and you took their advice and that went really well. Maybe somebody that you admired and you copied them, followed them, learnt from them, studied under them. Think about this because to me this is the unity within the community that people come and people go that when you ask for a teacher, the teacher shows up and sometimes you're the teacher. Just consider all these relationships, all these actions and interactions and in my opinion, in your golden time, reflect on the cinema screen of your mind who is important, who you've been important for and start to manifest a reconnect so that you can give them feedback they can give you feedback and then you realise the significance of these connections, these conversations, these mutual interactions and cooperations because this brings us all closer together and in a world that's trying to divide us, look for unity and uh, look in your, over your life at who you want to connect with and who you've connected to and just think about what are you going to do about it and how are you going to reconnect how are you going to get that feedback or give that feedback because it's really important do this if you want to chat about this i'm here for this 
be powerful, enjoy your mind.